What's going on guys, it's Point Blank here and I'm bringing you a short little vlog and yes you were looking at my messy bed because I don't want to reveal what I got over here for a second. Uh, first off, I'm, well just pass my finger in front of it, so professional. Sorry if the video isn't like a good quality or it's a little shaky or the sound's kind of echoey, it's because I'm recording this in my room with an iPod, so I don't exactly have professional sound equipment. But yeah, I was bringing this little short video to you to show something I got today while I was in town. I pre-ordered this game. Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I meant to get it anyway, but I wanted to get it because of the Nuketown 2025 thing. came with this cool little poster and a thing about the Nuketown 2025. One thing I noticed is kind of funny about the poster is look how they only paint half of it. They're like, oh, we'll do this much, put this much effort into this. Which, if you look, this is actually a pretty good detail. Like, it's really detailed. You can even see, like, the little bit of scruff on that guy's face. The camo, you can see it starting to come up and the gun and all that. It looks really neat. That's the front side of it. Now on the back is this person. Uh, is this something I'm supposed to know about? Is this, you know, something that would mean something to me? Uh, I don't have a slash idea. I don't know. I don't even know if this is something in GameStop or something of Activision's. But yeah, there's that. And then I got the little thing here about Nuketown 2025. And something I didn't know is that for the Nuke. See, there's nothing on here that shouldn't be showing you. Yeah. All right. For the Nuketown 2025, they're only doing the Nuketown through July. They did something in May, although I never heard about it, so I don't know what it is. But yeah, if you pre-order Nuketown 2025, or pre-order Black Ops 2, well, to get Nuketown 2025, you have to do it by the end of July, which is, I would really take advantage of that, because I think Nuketown 2025 is probably about the best thing they can release. And I'm pretty sure, let's see, rest your day and get locked in for three waves of, yeah, so if you go and do this today, you get Nuketown 2025 and the the other two for August and October, and it only you only have to put five bucks on it to pre-order. You don't have to you know do the whole thing. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I want to say. I got Black Ops 2. I got the receipt over there, but I don't think oh, that's got a whole bunch of stuff I don't want you guys to see. Uh, yeah, if anybody could tell me who this is, that'd be really neat. I don't have the slightest idea. Uh, yeah, that's really about it. Um, this video will go up today with another one that I uploaded. I'm going to do like a full video tomorrow. I'm not going to cheat you guys and just put out a little two minute video. Um, I also go and look at my setup because I've got some questions about this. The only reason I don't have a mouse is because, or mouse pads because I spilt um, water on it. But yeah. Here's my setup. Actually, that's my GameSpot receipt. Move that real quick. My setup, I got my computer here with a. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and make this a full setup video too. This is. um a HP computer it was um I forget the model number but it was like 600 bucks maybe and I went ahead and put a power supply and a graphics card in I put a Corsair 600 watt um, builder series and then I put a ATI rate on 5670 it does good I can play like Battlefield and Skyrim on medium settings so it's not amazing but yeah I uh, just got like a standard monitor that came or not the one that came, yeah this is the one that came with it I think either that or it's something relatively cheap that we got now I got my TV here it's a Sansui I think my PVR is back there in the back. Look at that beast. Um, yeah. The TV, I thought it would be good because it's 1080p and it's, you know, 24 inch, so it fits on my desk with everything else. But it it kind of does weird. Like, when it goes, whenever I record something, which over here is my PS3, I got a slim and one of these red remotes here. These things hold up better than the black remotes, by the way. I don't know why, but they do. And then, got the Triton mix amp, but yeah. Whenever you record, you record through these, um, the component cable. And when it gets to the PVR and to the computer, it looks fine. And it looks, you know, just like playing the game. But for some reason, whenever it gets to the TV, it's all messed up and distorted and stuff. And, or not distorted, but it's, it really just looks a whole lot less good. It looks, what, it looks worse than it does after you ran it through a couple rendering programs on your computer. Which I don't know if that's the, something the PVR is doing or that's just the TV. I want to say it's the TV because for a 1080p TV for about 200 bucks, I mean, even though it was small, it just doesn't really click right. Uh, yeah, this keyboard's old, by the way. I don't know when I got it, but yeah, it's a just a Microsoft keyboard. It's got like a row of special keys here. Oh, that's getting shade on it. Yeah, got a row of special keys here that I never use for anything. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's just a standard mouse, by the way. That's about that's my setup. That's my Black Ops 2. Oh, and I guess here, this is my mouse pad. Normally, it's Carolina Panthers mouth mouse pad. Carolina Panthers mouse pad, and there's Diablo 3 box, but yeah, I use that by the way. It's actually really thick and like a really good quality. Like, it's pretty thick for a mouse pad, you know? And it does good. And then here is my headset. They're 
Triton AX720s. Uh, they do me really good. I really like them. That duct tape there is because one time I was trying to see. I can't really hold this and this at the same time. Ignore that. But um, basically, whenever I try to put these on, I gotta pull these things open around my fat head. And this little snap here came undone, like where it's got like the little seam there, like where the white and black separate. That's a seam, and it came undone there. And I had to like barely get the thing back into where it'll actually um, uh, like change size and then I had to put duct tape over keep it from coming apart which duct tape fixes everything by the way uh, yeah guys I think that's gonna be it my amazing setup and black ops 2 I think I'm gonna hang it right there on that wall oh one thing about my room before I go ahead and leave I got this on an eighth grade trip to Washington DC and while wow, the video got really grainy I think this cha thing changes its uh that's ISO settings that changes the graininess right I think it changes that automatically to make it worse with less light and all that because that looks really bad from what I'm seeing but yeah that's it um this is a copy of the Declaration of Independence it's even wrote on the same kind of paper I forget what kind of paper that is I think it's like papyrus or something uh, big old John Hancock on there and we frame this in ourselves with um you know this is just like pine wood it's like an inch or so thick yeah that's the only thing I really want to show you about that but yeah you saw my setup Black Ops 2 poster, and I think that's about it, guys. I went on longer than I meant to. I might cut this up into... Hey, that'd, be, that'd actually be a bad idea. I'm just going to upload this whole thing for you guys. <laughs> if you guys made it this far, congratulations. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a comment telling me why. Although I don't think there's much improving I can do on vlogs, because I've got an iPod, and I'm probably not going to do a whole lot of these. But yeah, that's a little look into what I got today and all that. And it's been Point Blank. I'm out.